Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I know you must be thinking that something is really odd with my face today and yes it is uh, that's because we are testing out two different foundations not testing out we are comparing two different foundations now I wanted to do this series since or these kind of videos since a really long time uh, wherein I wanted to compare similar sort of foundations we have available in our Indian market so for today's video we are comparing these two right here well this way these two right here have this fit me foundation on this side and l'oreal matte magic 12 hours foundation on this side so i think that is why you can probably tell that i look really different right now anyways so i wanted to compare these because i feel like they're very very similar uh, in a sense that they give you the same kind of finish and they have the same kind of coverage i don't know if you can tell but i will insert the clip of application when i'll be talking about the application part of both of these so yeah i think i'm going to keep this series about those foundations which are similar to each other and yeah we will be testing those out now let's talk about this foundation first this is by l'oreal paris and this is their matte magic 12 hour bright matte foundation it comes with spf 11 pa plus plus and it says it has volcanic perlite infusion infusion yeah infusion now i have done a separate complete detailed review about this so i will um, put a card somewhere here so you can check that out now just to give you guys a quick overview about this foundation this has medium coverage this is how it looks like after one layer of foundation on this side of my face um, I can still see a little bit of my acne marks because they are very dark so it, it definitely did not cover up entirely but it has a pretty good coverage it has medium coverage and you can build it up I have not tried it but I think this might look a little bit cakey if you build it up you know because when you start blending it out it just transforms into this powdery finish and then yeah it, it kind of can look cakey on certain areas i will get to that part very soon so i find it to be really long wearing um, i don't know about the 12 hour claim but it is long wearing for me and the finish it gives you is definitely matte now that i have both of these foundation i feel like this side looks a lot matte than this i would say that this gives you a matte finish so if you like completely matte finish i think you would really like this that's all about this foundation in a nutshell now talking about the maybelline fit me foundation this has been in the market for a while now and i absolutely love this foundation and there are various reasons for it so i'm going to talk about everything in a nutshell again about this foundation as well now this also gives you a medium coverage i have this foundation on this side of my face and as you can tell i don't know if you can uh, make it out but the coverage is pretty much the same to me i don't find any of these foundations um, better in coverage both sides the coverage looks very much the same to me with this foundation you can definitely set it if you want to you don't have to go and pack the powder on because it's on the matte side but you can definitely just dust a little bit of powder in order to make sure that it is long lasting you know so i set it a lot of the times and it does not look cakey at all which is a great thing i really like that about this you know that i can set it and even though it's matte and after setting it it does not look cakey coming to the finish it also has a matte finish but now as i'm seeing my face i find this one which is the l'oreal paris uh, matte magic foundation to be a little bit more matte than this one coming to the application part i find both of these very very easy to apply I generally apply maybelline's fit me with a brush because i feel like it gives the maximum coverage whenever i'm using this i always prefer using my fingers because it's kind of difficult to use with a brush because it just starts to transform into this powder finish and the more you rub it in the more it just moves around and i just find it a little bit difficult so i always use fingers so both of these very very easy to use very very convenient i don't think they take a lot of time to blend so application wise both are great you know maybelline's fit me foundation says that it is matte plus poreless 
I'm not saying that this is going to make your pores look invisible or anything but I can however definitely tell that it does not accentuate my pores you know so I have pore issues I have texture issues on my nose and a little bit around this area and now that I have both of these foundations on I see why they call this as matte and poreless now that I'm looking directly at my face I can tell that this side of my face which has Maybelline's fit me foundation on that side I don't see a lot of pore issues going on I mean it's it has not accentuated my pores that much I, I still can see it I'm not saying it's invisible or anything I still can see it but it's very less visible now coming to this side it has a completely different story on the rest of my face everything looks fine everything looks matte and great but wherever i have pore issues like on my nose and a little bit around this area like underneath my eye everything looks highlighted pores are so much more visible and it looks a little bit cakey on this side i don't know why maybe because i have a little bit of dry skin around my nose that's something i wanted to tell you the whole point of letting you guys know this is that if you have texture issue or if you have pore issue or any sort of bumpiness going on on your face um, this foundation is just going to accentuate it a little bit more but whereas this does not do that so yes that's all about the application part and all of the stuff which i wanted you guys to know about both of these foundation now i'm just going to wear both of these for whole entire day and we will be testing both of these out um, we'll see how both of these are performing how these are lasting throughout the day and all of that good stuff hey guys so this is my last and final check-in for this video i know uh, the quality of this part is not good because i'm recording this with my phone um i need to charge my dslr and it it takes a while to charge so i cannot really do that right now i cannot record with my dslr so i'm really sorry for the quality of this part anyways so this is as i mentioned the last part and this is the side with the L'Oreal foundation and this is the side with Maybelline. This is how it's looking like after what exercising, sweating and everything. So you can definitely see that the Maybelline side has worn off. Um, I, I can see all my acne marks and everything but this side has held up pretty well. I know that on this side I have quite dark acne marks and I cannot see them as much as I can see those on this side but there are as i already mentioned in the uh, beginning of this video that it has caked up um around the sides of my nose where i have dry skin so for sure i would say that the l'oreal matte magic foundation lasts a lot longer than the maybelline fit me but also i want to add that i did not set it so you can definitely make it uh, make Maybelline fit me even more long lasting if you set it with a translucent powder or with a compact whatever now whom would I suggest L'Oreal Matte Magic is only to those people who have extremely oily skin and who do not have a lot of texture uh, on their skin you know like I have texture over here so you can see how caked up it looked but if at all you have texture on your skin and you are using that foundation make sure you are using a blurring primer like pore minimizing primer so that it's not as cakey and it does not emphasize your pores as much otherwise i really really like uh, l'oreal's matte magic it's definitely meant for people with oily skin i don't see how dry people can use it because it definitely looks cakey on any dry areas that you have on your face if at all you're using it uh, if you have dry skin just make sure that you have moisturized your skin really well and only then go for l'oreal's foundation maybelline's fit me also performed pretty good the only part i found that was not great was it was not as long lasting as this one you know l'oreal one so yeah just to give you an overview l'oreal one has good staying power a really nice staying power but make sure if you're using it you don't have a lot of texture on your skin if you do have just use a pore minimizing primer or any sort of blurring primer and you would be good to go if you're using that foundation and maybelline fit me is great it does not emphasize your pores or anything does not look cakey but the only thing is it does not last all that long 
but you can of course you know elongate its lasting power by using a primer underneath or setting it i did not set it so it did not last all that long you know so yeah that's all for my first video on the battle of foundation i hope you guys found it helpful and if you did then please like this video and i'm really sorry for this horrible quality i'll make sure that this does not happen from the next video and i'll see you guys in my next one